Welcome to the Moore family farm. Well, it's finally getting ready to happen. We have 15 acres of pines. And we moved here two years ago. And we found out about them when we moved in that we could we could uh, cut those down and, and make some money off of them. So... I looked for over a year. First, I went on Google Maps, and uh, I just started looking up any loggers that were nearby and calling them. And uh, a few responded back, some didn't. And a few that responded back says that um, with only uh, 15 acres, it wasn't worth bringing their machines out. They really don't mess with anything under uh, 20 acres. So... Uh, I went to the forestry and they gave me a paper of list of all the uh, loggers they knew and stuff even highlighted some of them that thought that they would might come in there and take a look at it well I didn't realize that one of them was a uh, paper company from Pennsylvania we're in Virginia and uh, they uh, contacted me I had a few other loggers called me back and they actually said they came out and stuff and if they were close by they would uh they would maybe uh hit it come over there and bring their machines over and, and cut it all down but uh never heard really heard back from anybody or made a thing so the paper company they called me up one day and told me they had been out here for uh uh three different times and looked at it and they were really interested and wanted to make a contract so I agreed with that. So that was a year after we'd been here. And I had been looking. So uh, um, made a contract with them. And probably April this year, they came back and said that they had been bought out by another company. Um, and they changed their name. Everything was the same, except they changed the name. But we needed to sign another contract. And that they had a little problem with the logger and the guy that was running it. So um, they got another logger that wants to come in here right away. But uh, he, uh, um, they wanted to extend it to make sure they had enough time. So they extended it to October. And uh, I said, all right. So the guy was supposed to come in here like the, the middle of May. And I finally met, he was coming to come out here and meet me and go over everything. And uh, he finally uh, uh, met with me and said, yeah, I'm going to be right back. He goes, I'll tell you what, I'll be out here next weekend. And that was Memorial Day weekend. So uh, he actually did call me back and say that uh, he, uh, being Memorial Day weekend and family stuff, that he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, get time to come out here. Well, one thing and then another had been lingering on, lingering on. Well, about three weeks ago, he finally bring a piece of equipment out here. And uh, I was like, oh, God, thank God, you know. And it's finally getting started after two years of waiting to get this stuff cut. Finally getting started. Well, that thing sat here for a good week. And there's two trucks come in here with the little crane on their utility body. They take the thing apart. And I said, my wife says, they use your, the damn land for a garage. <laughs> so things taken apart back here and i said what the heck so saturday they came in here and uh i went back there they had came back and put it back together and yesterday the owner of the logger guy came in by himself and i was getting ready to go for work because i work in the evening and he had uh uh i heard him start the tractor up back there and then I heard him cutting something. I said, I guess he's just checking it out, see if it works and stuff like that. Wife came home and said, oh, God, he's going to cut a big old area about there. And I said, well, he did say he was cutting the area so he could get his machines in there and turn them around and everything. I said, that's probably all I was doing. Well, she made it sound like all this was already gone. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's nothing like I was. she was making it sound. This is the first time I've been back here. This all happened yesterday. So, uh, it's probably just cleared a little spot out to get his trucks in and machines in and stuff. 
So that's what it looks like he did. <laughs> Not as bad as she made it sound. <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad. At least you're getting started. Good lord, I've been waiting so long for them to get going. My uh, son in law wants to build a house back here. So he had already cut a little tiny road in between the trees out, cleared a little spot. So that's what they picked up, bring their logs in. But yeah, that's nice. Let's see all the pines. So, this is our uh, first day of getting the pines cleared. <laughs> now we'll see when the next day he shows back up. Because he sure enough ain't out here today. And it's almost like, what, 9 o'clock? Yeah. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So that's more family farm getting the pines cut. Um, subscribe down at the bottom to my channel and I'll have an update the next time they come in. Thanks.